year's Super Mario Bros. Wonder marks another welcome return to 2D Mario following 2019's Super Mario Maker 2. The flood of imaginative user-created levels in that game completely shattered the traditional expectations of what a Mario platformer could be, exploring new genres and concepts as players pushed the limits of the available tools to their very edge. In response, Nintendo eagerly accepted the challenge of creating a new platformer that was overflowing with similar innovation for one day. Sure, you'll find the usual array of new power-ups and enemies, but what truly sets this new Mario adventure apart is the introduction of Wonder Seeds. These magical collectibles have the power to transform levels on the fly, making for some truly mind-bending experiences. Imagine unleashing a stampede of flying rhinos, turning Mario into a mischievous Goomba or even flipping the entire world on its side. The sheer inventiveness in Wonder is a breath of fresh air, harkening back to the days of the beloved Super Mario World from 1991. Super Mario Bros. Wonder signals a promising new horizon for a genre often relying on nostalgia, and sure, while it does rekindle our cherished memories of classic Super Mario, it also introduces an exciting new feature that could serve as a valuable lesson for games beyond the genre its multiplayer mode. Although the series has included two-player modes since its early days, it was the Wii's new Super Mario Bros that boldly ventured into concurrent four-player action. At long last, Mario could harness the skills of his companions to collaboratively conquer obstacles. It was a fun experiment, but in the end often felt like a recipe for delightful chaos. Players would often find themselves competing over power-ups, precious platform real estate, and even the camera's focus. This multiplayer experience also had a noticeable effect on new Super Mario Bros. single player, leaving that expansive screen real estate around Mario feeling somewhat desolate and underutilized. Although it met the expectations of what one might envision in a multiplayer Super Mario game, there was the sense that a better solution was out there. Fortunately, though some years later, Super Mario Wonder fulfills that expectation, even if you're tackling the game solo. Fueled by games such as Dark Souls, known for its cryptic messaging system and player summoning, the integration of online elements into single-player games has gained popularity in recent years. Hideo Kojima's Death Stranding epitomizes this concept, earning it the new genre class of a strand game. In this genre, the global collective of players collaborates to enhance an otherwise solitary single-player experience. Across Death Stranding's runtime, restoring connectivity in the game world populates it with helpful tools and guidance left by fellow players. This collective effort simplifies the returning journey after a challenging ascent. It's almost akin to reversing the ordeal of Wario Land 4's Frog Switch, where a gruelling trek forward is transformed into a pleasurable homeward adventure. Super Mario Bros. Wonder embraces the idea of a collective effort in a single-player adventure, and this concept is deeply ingrained in the game's storytelling. The adventure begins as Mario's friends in the Flower Kingdom witness a Bowser invasion, prompting everyone to embark on a quest to locate the elusive Wonder Seeds. Across the game's runtime, you'll cross paths with various Mario characters on the overworld and even within levels. And what's cool about Nintendo's approach is that you'll never encounter duplicate characters. It's always the rest of Mario's crew to whoever you chose. It's a small touch, but one that makes the experience that more cohesive. Lacking the typical countdown timer and with the added freedom of backtracking through levels, Super Mario Bros. Wonder takes inspiration from the scavenger hunt design of the 3D Mario games, letting players explore at their own pace. The challenge instead lies in thoroughly exploring these levels to find all the important items. What makes it even more exciting is that you're not overcoming this task alone. You'll encounter the spectres of these online characters controlled by other online players, just in the background of these deep levels, all on their own hunt for these items. Interactions with these characters don't involve collisions, so there's no need to battle for platform space or vie for the camera's focus. Nevertheless, you can extend a helping hand if they stumble during a level, and you can even offer up your power-ups to assist them. This feature is a fantastic addition, because it retains the cooperative multiplayer spirit without the possibility of any conflicts. There were countless times I ended up teaming up with random online players to tackle Mario Wonder's more challenging parts. We'd stick close together to help each other out after difficult obstacles, and sometimes even use that to our advantage to tackle tricky sections in unexpected ways. It's pretty amazing that we managed all of this without any clear way to chat or communicate with each other. 
It was even more gratifying when we finished levels simultaneously, triggering the classic Mario flagpole animation that let us celebrate our shared success. Outside of the main obstacle course levels, Mario Wonder includes a number of fun side activities built with multiplayer in mind. My favourite are these parks where you have to seek out hidden trinkets, a task that demands the collective intelligence of all characters to reveal them. These segments would be tedious when played alone, but they surprisingly transform into social interactions even in the absence of physical company. It's also an activity with little to no immediate dangers, which enhances the overall fun. On that note, Super Mario Bros. Wonder is a perfect family game. There are character choices that eliminate taking physical harm and even extending jumps, enabling players of various skill levels to not only participate in the enjoyment, but also truly experience the joy of playing together. Super Mario Maker 2 thrived on the power of its community, and it's great to see that Nintendo carry that spirit into a new multiplayer Mario game. Except instead of players crafting content for others, they now get to share the creative joy together. Super Mario Bros. Wonder demonstrates that you can enjoy the excitement of cooperative multiplayer without needing people to be physically present or connected through a voice chat. Thanks to Nintendo's online services, playing Wonder felt like embarking on a global Mario adventure. This unique experience may become challenging to recreate in the future when the game's player community wanes, and online servers are potentially deactivated. Nevertheless, that moment is now inseparably tied to Mario Wonder, elevating it to one of the most exceptional experiences I've had this year, and firmly securing its place as one of my top games of the year. And this got me thinking about how we could improve other experiences with Wonder's social cooperative multiplayer. This year's release of Tears of the Kingdom has kept the internet buzzing about the incredible things possible within Breath of the Wild's physics and chemistry systems, now pushed to the extreme with player-built contraptions. So imagine if this social system allowed some of those cool player creations to show up in Hyrule for Link to play around with. Players could show their appreciation by giving these creators positive ratings, and in return they'd earn some valuable rupees. It would eliminate the need to painstakingly recreate these items online, and inject some much needed freshness into the open world. As for other franchises, maybe in the next Metroid game, players could drop health refills for Samus in those hair-pulling, tough-as-nails sections. The possibilities with this system seem boundless, and I'm eagerly looking forward to how they'll evolve, hopefully not just in the next Mario game, but across gaming as a whole. So what are your thoughts? Have you given Mario Wonder a spin, playing with your buddies or teaming up with online strangers? And where do you think social co-op could turn up next? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Until next time, I'm James, and I'll see you all in the next upload.